Welcome to Board Game Casual. There are fewer things I love more than a board game on sale for a great price. Such is the case with Noli, which regularly goes on sale for eight bucks. Now, reviews for this game seem to be pretty mixed. I saw a playthrough on the Quackalope channel where they touted it and had a great time playing it. Chris Yee from the Dice Tower, on the other hand, completely slammed this game. I think he gave it like a two and basically called it hot garbage. Well, I scooped up a copy as an add-on gift for a friend a while back and had a chance to play a few games. And honestly, it's not that bad. Overall, I thought it was pretty fun, aside from a few weaknesses. Noli is a fairly small game, but certainly feels bigger than eight bucks. It plays super quick. I wanna say we were finishing games in under 30 minutes. Yet it has a lot of elements of a big board game experience, secret bidding, dice rolling, action selection, building with multiple win conditions and multiple paths to victory. For $8, it comes with decent wooden components and pretty good production quality overall. Generally speaking, I'm not a big fan of wooden dice, but the component quality of Noli is miles ahead of the Wits and Wagers Vegas edition I got for $6. The gameplay reminded me of a slimmed down version of Roll for the Galaxy. The core mechanism that starts every round has players secretly and simultaneously bidding on the four actions that are available. Then everyone reveals their bids for each action and whoever bid the highest on a particular action is the one that gets to do it. I think my biggest issue with Noli is that this bidding can make or break you. You lose your money whether you have the highest bid or not. Quite often you'll put all your money out there hoping to win at least one of the actions but get outbid on every one and now you're broke with nothing to show for it. I wish this game had some sort of compensation for placing a losing bid. That would help lessen the sting and still allow you to feel like you're progressing. Or at least let the players who placed losing bids take back some, if not all, of their money. It's also really hard to climb out of a financial hole when other players have more money than you. They just have an easier time outbidding you and therefore have more opportunity to make more money. I'm interested in playing it again and seeing if it helps to play possum a little bit. Maybe hang on to my money for a few turns and let the other players spend theirs and then swoop in later for a big buy. My my hunch is that this will probably hurt me more in the long run, but who knows. The good news is that there are still some actions every player gets to do each round, even if you haven't won any bids. There's some light, super lucky dice rolling silliness in this game, where every round, regardless of what you've bid on, all players are furiously rolling their dice, trying to be the first one to get all their dice on the boat symbol. Now obviously, this is where a lot of serious gamers get the most frustrated. But I think it's pretty fun if you take it at face value. And all it's doing is setting up a turn order for the cards you get to pick from. Plus, you can get bonuses along the way that allow you to preset some of your dice to the boat symbol, giving you a nice head start. So I like that there's some strategic mitigation to consider. Overall, for $8, I'm impressed. I think it's pretty fun and look forward to playing it again. It's easy to learn, easy to teach, and not a huge time investment. Now, do I like Noli enough that I'd pay $25 for it? Probably not. I don't think I'd pay more than 15 bucks for it. It's a bit of an occasional filler type game for me. But I think if you can find it for under $10 and you've got a couple of friends to play with, you'll easily get $10 worth of fun out of it. Going by the BGG rankings, I think I give the game about a 6.8 and with the price, it might even raise it to a 7. So those are my quick thoughts on Noli. I hope you found this useful if you're thinking about picking up a copy. If it's on Amazon for under 10 bucks and you've got 10 bucks to spare, why not? Thanks for watching, thanks for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time here on Board Game Casual.